Alright, hey everyone, this is Chris101B, and um, this is a tutorial for the program Alice, and uh, I'm going to teach you a little bit about it. So, uh, let's open Alice, first of all. Uh, Alice is a free programming program, I guess you could call it that, and uh, it's really fun to use because it's, instead of, you know, typing in code and learning all that stuff, it is just a drag and drop interface and it's really e easy and simple to use and you can do a ton of stuff with it um, so alright let's get started um, right here when you first open up Alice um, there's a main default page right here and it has a few tabs up here where you can choose what you want there's tutorials uh, recent worlds, there's templates which are uh, just ground textures that you can start off with. Uh, it gives example worlds and then you can click on here and you can open a world that you've saved onto your computer um, recently. So um, let's go to template and uh, right now def uh, the default is the grass texture so we'll just go with that right now. and. So as you can see, when it starts up completely, um, you have a little 3D window right here, and that is where you can see your world, the world that you created, and you know all the objects, and then everything. That's how you modify everything. Uh, and then right below it is the main uh, box, and this is where you put all of the methods, all of the coding, all of the uh, everything that happens will happen in this box right here uh, and we'll get into that a little bit later uh, <clears throat> up here it's not really important it's for more you know uh, this isn't for beginners it's just for more experienced people so don't have to worry about that um, over here to the left is the objects uh, area and they just pretty much tells you all the objects that are in uh, your world at the moment and then right below it is all just the commands so if I put an object in here all the commands everything that it can do will be listed here and it also you know has its properties and stuff like that functions are more uh, for advanced users so we're not going to get into that either so uh, let's go ahead and put a an object into Alice, and we do that. Whoops! We do that by selecting Add Objects, and it'll open up this menu. And from here, you can uh, add stuff from a whole list of things. Uh, and if you don't find what you're looking for here, you can also click this Home button right here. And there's also a web gallery and uh, it might slow down the program a little bit depending on your connection so I'm not going to mess around with that so I'll just go to local gallery um, let's add an animal how about uh, a bunny so there are two ways that I can add this object to the world I can either drag and drop it or I can just click and this little menu will pop up and it'll say add instance to world and if I click on that it will just add it to the world in a predetermined spot so right now I only need one so I'll delete him alright the way we move this around is by using these buttons up here and the far left button uh, can be used to move the bunny around along the ground the second button will move it up and down third button will rotate it to the left and to the right the third button will make it rotate forward and backward depending on you not the object it will rotate it forward and backward depending on where you are so then that means like if I move over here I can make it tilt this way and then this next one it's kinda like a free rotate and we just use that and you can do really you can rotate it to do whatever you want then there's a resizing tool and you just use that to make the bunny a giganto bunny or you can make him even smaller and cuter but I'll make him like medium sized and then this next last one uh, duplicates him so just drag and it will make a copy 
But say, you know, I want to make, you know, the ears really big and the feet really big. Well, to do that, all you have to do is check this box that says Affect Subparts. And when you select that, you can affect the subparts. The little, you know, instead of the whole entire bunny, it'll affect just little parts of them. So I can, you know, grab his ear, give him like, <laughs> give him like a turban or something, you know, and then, you know, make his feet really, really big, and you know, it's just a way to, to customize what you, <laughs> what you want, uh, so we have the bunny right there, or what could be described as a bunny, I guess, uh, and, uh, that's, uh, that's about it, so, um, I'll get into more detailed stuff later on, uh, in other tutorials, I'll go into, like, how to make him move, you know, using the play button, and, you know, how to, how to, how to animate them in the next tutorial, so, hope you watch that, and, uh, I'm done for right now, so, uh, see you later.